Hello, my name is Spencer Chen. I'm doing this project in collaboration with Joshua Lamping. And our uh, problem that we are trying to solve is this, the distance from Logan, Utah to Madrid, Spain. And that's a problem because um, as people are trying to learn a foreign language, many times uh, the best way to learn a foreign language is to be in what's called an immersive environment. An immersive environment is to be around people who speak the target language. Um, and natively and uh, you know they, oh, they only speak that language they don't speak your native language and so you are forced to learn the uh, the target language because nobody around you speaks the language that you um, that you uh, would use before they, you, you can only be in the target language and so the and that's a really big problem uh, with this distance because you can't travel 5,000 miles every day to uh, practice your language skills and so what we're doing is we're bringing the country to the language learner. And the way we're doing that is by setting up a, a little scenario, just an everyday activity, uh, like um, going to the store. And so right here we have instructions for the participant. Um, and these instructions in English are for lower level Spanish speakers, instructions in Spanish for those who can handle it like that. And so they're given a grocery list right here. And so that says two apples, two cans of fish, and um, a loaf of bread. And so then they go to the store and uh, the store is going to be set up that we make. And so right here they have the items. They said, okay, two apples. And then they see right here, okay, well, I know the word for can is lata, but I have to decide, pescado, does that mean beans or does that mean fish, you know? And so they have to really have a vocab check there. And then uh, right here as well, they take the, the loaf of bread. And then they come over here and to the cash register. And so it just, you know, like a normal thing, it's like, oh, an alert for the attendant that says push the button for the attendant. And so you come over and you push the button. There you go. And it alerts the attendant to come over and to, um, and to process your transaction. So they come over here, the attendant takes, um, takes into account all of this, tells you the price, and then the person pays for that. All the while the attendant is small talking with the person. Very common in a, um, in a Spanish speaking country for an attendant to small talk with you. And so the person needs to process vocabulary of food. They have to be able to read the sign. They have to be able to small talk with the attendant. They have to know the numbers uh, for the transaction as far as the money goes. And so this really uh, creates an immersive environment for the person while the attendant is acting in that way to create the immersive environment. COVID-19 adjustments we had to make. I am in a kitchen. I'm not in a classroom. And uh, I had to do user testing with my wife instead of um, people who are actual students of Spanish, Spanish speaking, the Spanish language learners. And so that has really cut into the user testing. And so that's our project.